Tuesday, everyone. That's Dr. Jeff, the interactive Zoom experience where we discuss all things photobiomodulation and life. My name is Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard. I'm your host and facilitator. I'm a medical doctor here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex who is a LifeWave enthusiast. I simply love this patch technology. It is so dynamic. It helps the body in so many different ways. And I am thrilled to share space with you all and discuss all of its power and benefits. So LifeWave was established back in 2004 by a world-renowned scientist and inventor named David Schmidt. The company has since grown exponentially across the globe to distribute and enlighten the world with a photobiomodulation technology in the form of a patch. And our most powerful, our most prominent and popular patch is called the X39. This is so dynamic because it helps the body to generate its own stem cells. We know them as pluripotent, not embryonic. This simply means that these cells are adult in nature, but they have not yet differentiated into a specific tissue type. That means that they are able to, to do some dynamic things to help the body to heal because stem cells are the basis for our healing process. And um, essentially they are able to morph into any embryonic tissue type. So we have three different groups. We have the ectoderm, which is our hair, our skin, our nails, our brain tissue, our nerves, um, you know, really the exterior layer of our bodies. And so those stem cells can help to regenerate that tissue or they can go into the middle layer, which is called the mesoderm. So that is our muscle, our bone, our heart, our lungs, our blood vessels, uh, kidneys, and a host of other things. So they can take over these areas and help to rebuild those tissues. And last but not least is our most dynamic uh, area of embryonic tissue. This is the endoderm, the endoderm is all about the gut lining, the gut bacteria, I'm sorry, the, the, um, the liver, the spleen, uh, the intestines, uh, and the entire chute that helps to absorb nutrients. It is our fuel system. It's the way that we get our gasoline in the tank, all right? So uh, this technology has the capability to really revolutionize the way that you heal, the way that your body improves, uh, by putting the body into something we call homeostasis, which is physiological balance. It also helps to eliminate uh, those of us who wear it on, an, on a consistent basis and have been wearing it for a very long time can tell you that things start to eliminate, things start to come out, our bowel movements are better, different, and uh, we start to perspire and eliminate things out of our system. Our skin starts to look healthier. All of these things happen because of GHK copper peptide, which the X39 patch has been clinically proven to increase. Um, so the GHK copper peptide molecule is something that engages in our nucleus. It binds to our genetics and helps to upregulate or downregulate those particular genes that are very valuable to us. 4,192 to be exact have been isolated that are influenced by GHK copper peptide. The founder, the inventor, the, the finder, so to speak, of GHK, the molecule, is a professor by the name of Lauren Picard. He's at Harvard and he has done extensive research, not unique to LifeWave, just sort of the precursor research needed to come up with the understanding of how GHK works and why it's valuable and why we should increase that molecule in our body. So downstream of that is the activity, the enhancement, uh, the activation, I, I wanted to say, of the X39. And it is uh, just a, a dynamic system because that's how those stem cells come to play, all right? So uh, all of those things come together to help the body work harmoniously and to be in great tip-top shape. And so just we're excited about something we call here at LifeWave Youthing and how everything works 
in its own way when you consistently wear the X39 and all the other patches for that matter. So we'll talk about them probably a little bit more in the question and answer period. Um, and I'm excited, guys. You know, it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen you all, and I promised you that we would have our site ready to go. And so I'm just going to give you a brief tour of the Ask Dr. Jeff MD platform. I'm excited to show you guys this. I'll share my screen here. And give you a brief tour. All right, guys, I hope everybody can see that. So the Ask Dr. Jeff MD site is all about the additional services that we can offer you to make sure that your LifeWave experience is dynamic and exactly what you desire. Okay, so in general, uh, this is a virtual platform that is an extension of our YouTube series and our weekly meetings. It just is all about natural healing and holistic health and about preventing disease. That's something I'm really, really passionate about and want to encourage everyone to uh, sort of join the journey of optimal health and optimal wellness. And so this is my personal invitation. So as you know, we've been working on this for quite some time. There's quite a few bells and whistles here, but I'm just going to give you a brief overview. So obviously, we're a big time promoter and distributor of LifeWave technology. We just went into that in extreme detail. And so this is just a little bit more of powerful path, especially when you the combination, you can figure out what your formula of the different patches is to make sure you're getting what you want out of this dynamic system. So it, what it, why, why is that Dr. Jeff right for you? Obviously, everybody here already knows the deal. Uh, there's so much information that I've been able to compile conversations that I've been able to participate in that are dynamic because they help me to learn how these patches work for people and how to create the right orientation. have to catch me via email to ask a question. You can just post the question here on Ask Dr. Jeff's website and we will get back to you or the community will get back to you. So that's the really cool part. Everybody can participate in the question asking and question answering business because we all bring value. We all have our unique experiences and I would love for us to just archive all of these different uh, testimonials that we have about how the patch technology works exactly right so that will be here in the next in the ask dr jeff md 2.0 version and just here are some of my keys to success guys uh, preventative wellness is so important obviously life wave stem cell regeneration and technology with the photobiomodulation and then the gut health is just it's imperative we got to talk about that because that's just so important all right, and then we have our membership plans. So these are the memberships in the subscription group that I've been talking to you about. Uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail because usually I don't speak about the price, ask me, or we come uh, to have a conversation via email about it. But here is the three levels. Level number one is essentially you get two extra meetings. We meet on second and fourth and we discuss and go into much more depth and critical thinking about how the patches work and how everything is can be utilized to your advantage. Obviously, we get into more depth because it's a much smaller crowd, it's interactive, and really a great discussion. Okay. Next, we find out about all of these cool articles and research. So I'm always providing articles that come up with or studies or other things that I find valuable and think that I should share with the group regarding their health, but more specifically with the patches. So we keep up with all of the stuff from corporate and all of that good stuff to make sure you're very, very knowledgeable about what's happening with the technology and just what's happening with health in general. Uh, so obviously, our community members get direct access to me and I always encourage them to text or call me if they need me 
So there's just a different level of access to Dr. Jeff when you're an Ask Dr. Jeff subscriber. Okay, and then uh, we have monthly newsletters with motivational information, health quotes, uh, our schedule of events for how we're going to meet and all of that good stuff. Uh, and then we have another second meeting. So uh, the first one is all about educational stuff, lecture, learning. The second one is about coming after you've reviewed what we talked about and getting to ask your questions and getting all of that out. You can also ask questions about your loved ones, friends, coworkers, family members, other business associates, totally up to you. You bring the questions and I'll figure out the answers, all right? Uh, and then we're adding now a monthly symposium where we just really go into depth about the acupuncture and uh, the points and what they do, how they work, all of those good things and the article of the month. So that's going to be something cool. Doesn't necessarily be it will be life wave related. And regarding one of the patches and something that that patch increases with the body, we'll learn about that, right? Basically, you have everything in level one and level two, plus you get a monthly 45 minute session with Dr. Jeff to ask whatever questions you may have, specifically about your health, the health of a loved one, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So basically, you get a private one-on-one -on -one consultation part of your membership, and then the third level is more so for our business builders and those who are really excited about business of life wave. So this includes some business coaching with Dr. Jeff, and if you'd like me to come on your Zoom meetings, if you'd like me to come and lecture for you, if you'd like me to conduct the Zoom for you. Uh, this goes on, let's just have a conversation, but basically I am consulting you both and business, right? So that's level three and that was 233 a month. So guys, the currently we've got a 25 members as it stands right now. So we're looking for many, many more. If this looks good to you, just visit the site. As, as Dr. Jeff in com, and you can just go to these levels, and then it will take you right into the ability to join our service right on the spot. So you'll just put in all your information, like I did here, and leave me a phone number, and you put in your payment information. You sign up, boom, voila, and now you are officially a part of the Ask Dr. Jeff system of subscribers. and everything else will take place from there. You can't show you live, uh, but you'll go into our membership back office and that will give you access to all of our previous recordings and uh, video content. You also have the opportunity to go through all of the newsletters and everything from the previous, wow, eight months. We've been going pretty strong. Um, and that will give you, basically get you caught up. You'll do all your homework to get caught up with us and then you will uh, be ready to go for our next meeting. Um, we actually are having the first meeting of July, uh, just day after tomorrow on this coming Thursday. And then we'll have our second one. I'll actually be in the Philippines. So that will be a cool one. That's going to take place on the 20, 20, let's see, the 24th. No, I'm sorry, 29th. And so, um, excited about that and looking forward to all of the cool discussion so this is ask dr jeff guys it's been a long time coming excited about all of the cool stuff that has taken place and you can easily find that on askdrjeffmd.com and you can peruse that at your leisure so again I'm pleased that the site came out the way that I liked it to. And stay tuned for those additional things that are going to be coming with building our Ask Dr. Jeff community where we can ask questions and build camaraderie. There'll also be some courses and some uh, ebooks and quite a other few bells and whistles that I think will really further our utilization of the patches and further our health. All right. So we'll get ready to jump into the question and answer period, guys. I did see a lot of uh, 
communication in the, the chat. So bear with me. I'm still getting used to this new system, trying to step up my camera game here. So as to make these things more professional and build up our YouTube channel and all of that good stuff. So um, I'm going to be going back and forth to my computer here to help me to organize the controls. But before we get started, as you know, here on Ask Dr. Jeff, we only use the LifeWave language. We want to protect the integrity of LifeWave. We don't ever want anyone to watch these videos in the future and think that we are insinuating that these patches do any particular thing to improve, treat, cure, or prevent any medical condition. They are not approved by the Type 2, by the Food and Drug Administration as a Type 2 medical device. So they're a wellness device that brings the body into homeostasis and has various different things that have been proven scientifically, but they do not treat any particular medical condition. So when you're asking your question, there's no need to discuss a particular disease state or a medicine. Just talk about your symptoms. And that's what we call the life wave language. What was happening before you started wearing the patches and what is happening now or what do you want to happen now that you're wearing the patches and maybe you just haven't necessarily achieved that level of success success yet with wearing the patches, all right? So we are going to dive right in. Marnie has the floor. She can go ahead and unmute herself and ask her question. Thanks, Dr. Jeff. Um, I uh, have a potential uh, client who has those very nasty pain in the heads, in the head, she only has one head. <laughs> and um, it, it, when it comes, it's very, very bad, sometimes debilitating. Mm -hmm. Eventually it'll go away. She's taking medication. She doesn't like it. It doesn't totally work. Um, she's curious about the patches. I'm just wondering, um, what you would suggest that I can tell her about protocol for them? Sure, great question. So I think first things first, know that 95% of headaches are associated with some level of dehydration. So want to just think water, 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 and not just any water, really good water. Um, and I don't know where you guys are located, but you, know, you wanna get something that's going to be oxygenated and it's going to have a good pH to it. That's going to really help to hydrate. If she's not holding on to that water, you can put a, a bit of Himalayan sea salt in there or Celtic sea salt, just like a pinch in your normal glass, eight ounces, um, and start to get those down. The minerals in that salt are going to help the water to absorb better. All right. So that's step number one. Step number two is just being smart about it. Try to track the pattern. Try to understand what you're doing to contribute to those headaches. Usually they have some sort of um, circumstance, some sort of situation where they're created, whether it's lack of sleep, whether it's stress, whether it's dehydration, whether it's uh, you know anxiety, whatever. Just try to track and make sense of that and stay ahead of it. Right. So if you can prevent them from happening or slow the amount that you're having, that's always going to be a good thing. OK, now, as far as the patches go, you know, I would just be, you know, on top of it, standard with the X39 and the glutathione and the Eon. Those three I would have wear regularly, you know, X39 and glutathione during the day and Eon at night or some people, you know, wear the X39 at night. But I think it would be good to have that on when you have those headaches the most, right? So whether if they're happening during the day, I would have X39 on during the day. If you find them more in the evening or at night, then I would have X39 on at, at, X39 on at that time. And then glutathione, you just wear that 12 hours every other day. Every other, okay. Every other day, yeah. And that's just gonna help keep your immune system in organized, you know, sort of sequence, okay? And then if you do have one, then you go heavy ice wave, okay? And so large intestine four, this point right here on the inside of the hand, all right? This is magic. This is money. This is like 
Uh, if you want to stop a headache or facial pain, toothache, something like that, boom, this is your acupuncture location, all right? So you want to patch the, the tan on the left hand and the white on the right hand. In and the same place? Correct. In, they, should okay. be, they should be symmetrical. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, and so, you know, you can find this, just dig in there. You know, it's, it's going to really let you know you're in the right spot when you hit it. And usually they say, go to this first knuckle of the index finger and just walk, walk up that bone of your hand. And there you are right in there, right before you get to the thumb. Okay. All right. Okay. And the patch is so big, it's gonna take up most of this area anyway. So it's kind of hard to miss it, okay? And then I would do a second set on the temples or wherever the pain is most significant. And again, symmetrical tan on the left, white on the right. And then would and you think, wear, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, I was just saying that's to abate a, an existing headache, you know, or if you can feel it coming on, you know, some people have what we call an aura or something like that. They sort of can feel it coming on. Then mm -hmm. I would go patch patch up right at that moment to to prepare for it to come in full force or at least try to minimize whatever, you know, the the severity. And then wear the ice wave for 12 hours or until the pain's gone or? Yeah, I would I would say wear it until you feel like it's calmed down or you've gotten past it. Um, you know, you can't, I wouldn't really recommend wearing it past 12 hours. I guess theoretically you could, but then you would have to skip a day. So that can be nerve wracking if you don't have it like ready to go. So, you know, at about 12 hours, if you're still not completely over it, then I would would back off and you know just kind of maybe try to relax or get out of the, the light or lay down sleep something but you know 12 hours of ice wave is a pretty powerful orientation so I think you probably could get the trick done there okay great thank you all right you're welcome all right Miss Stephanie your turn unmute yourself and ask mm -hmm. your question Stephanie, you there? Hello, hello, hello. Stephanie, it's your turn. If you're speaking, we can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself. Okay, I think we lost her. Alexandra, go right ahead and ask your question. Okay, I got it. I think okay. when I'm having the, it was, I, my hand raised that it didn't, I took it off and that's when it was able to unmute. Uh, okay. How are you? I'm doing well, ma'am. How about yourself? I'm doing, doing, doing. <laughs> um, is my question is, is there a uh, a patch or which patch um may assist with uh tongue tingling? Tongue tingling. Or a tingling of the tongue. Uh, I, I don't know that we have one specific to help with tongue tingling. Can you be a little bit more specific about what's happening with the tongue? Is it, I don't know if I've ever um, heard of tongue tingling. So yeah, give me a little bit yeah. more detail. Um, <laughs> somebody's laughing. <laughs> um, well, um, when, um, um, the last time, um, when you spoke about the glutathione patch and how powerful it is and how helpful, and yeah, you may go through some different changes, you know, um, um, so, you know, just bear with it and, you know, keep it on and see what happens. So I decided to go ahead and do that. And as um, um, time went on, I changed, I had to change the position of it because of the the headache, so I decided to put it on the inner right leg. Um, I think it's four inches above the, uh, the ankle, and it mm -hmm. seemed to be okay there. Um, but as time went on, um, I started feeling the tingling in the tongue, and no matter what I drank, 
um, or what I ate, um, it was still there. Um, I also tasted, um, I know this sounds weird, but um, um, tasted like um, metal. Like a metallic yeah. taste. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and that happened this morning. And I'm like, okay, what is that? And where is it coming from? Um, mm -hmm. So what I did was later on, I took the patch off. I didn't let mm -hmm. it go as 12 hours. And um, I didn't, um, you know, taste the metal anymore, but the tingling was still there. Okay, and so how long have you been without the glutathione patch? Today? Um, you, you took it off. You took it off this morning. I actually, I took it off around about uh, maybe um, six. I put it on at like okay. nine in the morning, mm -hmm. nine between nine nine thirty in the morning, and um, I took it off at six. Okay, and so since then, the things that we're talking about, other than the tongue tingling, has resolved. Yeah, I don't I don't taste the metal anymore. Okay. Well, but the tongue you, is still tingling. Yeah. Tell me what you've eaten recently. What'd you have today um, or yesterday? Um, well, today I had um I had um millet, puff millets, but I, they were like little um energy balls. Um, mm -hmm. that I that I made with the uh, almond butter and blueberries and flax seed um, and just you know freeze those in the freezer and just you know eat one or two when you you know feel like it but that was breakfast um, water um, drinking the water kind of uh, the water that I've been drinking um, has um, I've been um, um, the tingling comes on again. Um, and um, today I had um, um, uh, for dinner, I didn't have lunch, but for dinner I had the spiral um, squash um, with uh, different seasonings in it. So it was, you know, like zucchini, yellow squash, and butternut squash. It was spiral. And that's all I've had. Um, for today. Okay, so just a just a light meals, basically. Yeah, light meals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Nothing. Nothing okay. heavy. And and yeah. you just started noticing the tongue tingling today. Um. No, the tongue ting because I've been wearing the glutathione for uh, months now. Um. So the so, tongue. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Is okay. Are you sure it's the glutathione? Um. Uh, you know what? Could, I mean, it, could just, it be so, could it be something else? I'm out of just I'm I'm just wondering. I mean, it, if you it, I mean, it could be. That. It could be. I mean, I'm not just gonna put it on gluta, you know. But I just <laughs> seem like the metal, the 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 metal tasting is what came out that I had not experienced before, and that was okay. that started today. And when I took the when I took the patch off, um, it was like the metal taste had went away. But the um, the um, um, the tingling um, was still there. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So let's let's do quite this. Sure. What what's what? Let's do this. Mm -hmm. How often are you wearing the glutathione? Every other day or every day? No, I was wearing it every day. Okay. So let's back off. Let's take three days off, and okay. then start. So let's say today is Tuesday. So you put it again on Friday. Okay. okay? And mm -hmm. then determine whether or not you're having the same symptoms. Okay. If you're having the metallic taste, if you're having the tingling in your mouth, then let's have another conversation. Send me an email or let's, let's kind of schedule to have a more substantive conversation. But I really think that, you, you know, this is some detoxing. If it is glutathione, right. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that it isn't. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that this is something that your body needs to go through. It's eliminating some things. And I'm not sure why they're eliminating the, the GI tract, but that's something to consider. Okay. Okay. So okay. I think you may have just overdid it a little bit. Some of us can't wear glutathione every day. No, 
typically we wear it every other day. Okay, so uh, I, yeah, I may have overdone it, um, but um, yeah. And you know, we because, talked about this before, you know, Steph, you're a little sensitive, uh, so. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you gotta, yeah, yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, okay? Yeah, I did send you an email, though. I sent you an email a while back. Yeah. I, yeah, I got it, and I just okay. have yet to be able to get back to you. I, got I just want to, I just want to make sure possible. you got it. That's all. I got, yeah. I got okay. it for sure. I'll be all in right. touch. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, I will start that on Friday and see what happens. Now, should I cut the time short, or just no. continue to do the twelve? Twelve every other day. Every after other you rest day. for a little bit. After you rest for a little bit. So rest for three days. And then every other day. Okay, got you. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, Alexandra, now we got you. We're ready. Good evening from the UK. We are in the middle of night. My question uh, is how can we help someone with gallstones pain? With gallstones? You know, typically that presents with upper abdominal pain. But typically, it can be any type of area in the abdomen. So you just kind of have to follow the symptoms. But if you know that it's gallbladder, liver stuff, yes. then you know that you want to focus, you know, on the, the right side along the rib cage. So you can put Eon, you can put glutathione along the rib cage. You can put X39 along the rib cage. You can put Ice Wave along the rib cage. You can also pay, uh, patch on the liver meridian itself. So, what? you know, that's on the, the liver meridian, the actual meridians that move the chi flow energy through our bodies. There is a liver meridian. How can I find top, it? On the top of the right foot is a great place. Or you can just Google it. You can say liver meridian and put that in Google. And it will mm -hmm. show you all of the areas where the liver meridian travels. Mm -hmm. From oh, from so, which one is the the, uh, the 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 most advised? Because I have four different types of patches: ion glutathione, X thirty nine, ice wave. I understand ice wave is just to uh, to to eliminate symptoms, but for the long lasting effect, which one of so is it is it that there's a spasm in the gallbladder? Is that the problem? Or is the person it reports that, that she's in a constant pain, and she's mm. be, it, it, and she's she she was in the hospital, examined against uh, fa they found that this is the gallstones. Got it. Okay, so you know those stones have to pass, right? So there, this is a, a journey. Okay, so. Mm. Um, in order to specifically deal with the pain, I think that's gonna be the most important. You can have her patch right here on the forearms, inside of the forearm. So tan on the uh, left and white on the right. This is point is called pericardium six. And then you wanna put an X39 or two right along that rib cage. So right over the liver. So the, the brown one is on here, yes? On, on, the, on the left. Mm -hmm. On the and left. Then the, and then the white one is on the right. Mm -hmm. and, on the, and, on the left. Mm -hmm. okay. and it's called pericardium six is the acupuncture location. So again, if you're worried about the landmarks or exactly where to find it, they have all kind of great resources on Google. You can just click on the images icon and it will show you exactly up close where to put it but it should be three finger width. So if you put three fingers, right, your index fingers at the base of the wrist, then your middle finger and your ring finger, then here with your pinky is where it should be. Make sense? Right yes. in the center. This is okay. about ice waves. Ice, ice waves. wave, Co correct. Mm -hmm. So right, white on the right, tan on the left. And then you take X39, and you go right here below the rib cage because this bottom part of the rib cage protects your liver. So right along that rib cage, wherever the pain is, stick the X39 right there. Uh -huh. so, th so these two are main, these two. 
Ice Wave and X39. Okay. Any other Correct. general recommendation? Well, I, I think she needs maybe some SP6 complete that could be helpful with her digestive organs. It usually helps with liver function, spleen, and gallbladder. So that one could be helpful also. And you wear that one on stomach 36, which is on the outside of the lower leg. Stomach? And? 36. 36. Yeah, it, it, you'll see it inside the booklet with SP6 complete. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. General recommendation about diet probably, yes? The person should Same. change something in general yes. lifestyle yeah. diet. Yes, absolutely. If you're having gallstones, it's likely because you're, you're eating too many fats. Fats? Too many fats? Too mm -hmm. many fats, yes. Mm -hmm. So lower fats. Okay, consumption. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So guys, the liver is responsible for producing a substance called bile, and yeah. bile emulsifies fat. So the more fat you have, the more fat you introduce into the small intestine, the harder the liver has to work to digest those fats. Mm -hmm. And bile is stored in the, in the gallbladder. And when the gallbladder contracts to eliminate the bile into the small intestine, the constant movement of the bile causes it to create salts. And that's what a gallstone is, is where it be, sort of becomes solidified at the bottom or inside the gallbladder. And if it gets down into the tract, where it starts to block things from the small intestine, it can really be quite painful and challenging. Okay. All right, Caroline, your turn. Go ahead and then, oh, you're already unmuted. Go ahead and ask a question. <laughs> Thank you for walking us through your website. That's pretty cool. Thanks. I have a team member who patched her partner with SP6. It was the very first time he'd ever worn a patch on spleen six on his left leg mm -hmm. and immediately on his right leg, he broke out in a rash that starts with an H and mm. it freaked him out. And so she took it off. So curious if you, and she said that he did drink water. I'm not sure if he really did, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. So I have not heard of that or I've not seen that before, but SP6 complete, similar to glutathione, is a really powerful immune stimulator. Um, so you know that um, those particular rashes, they're uh, like the, the cousins of chickenpox. So they lay dormant and then, you know, they can have an outbreak or outburst and so this likely happens when you're stressed or when you've got a heightened immune response. So I think that's actually, you know, it's not a bad thing. It means that the patch is working. I can understand why it may have freaked him out. So I guess the best thing to do is try to help him understand that this was a healing crisis and that those are positive steps in the right direction to eliminate stuff that needs to come out. And so if he could just get comfortable wearing it for you know, a lot of time, I think on the the article itself, it said seven days, you started to see some significant changes in the physiological function of these different parts of the body. And so one week's work, you really start to see the benefits of SP6 complete. So, you know, or he could go back to X39. Why did they choose SP6 to start? Ravings. Uh, uh, okay. Mostly. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, um, yeah, I think the best thing is just to kind of reiterate how things work and that this light therapy is helping the body to bring itself into balance. And so when you start to get into balance, things that happen when you weren't in balance tend to have a shift. And so that's just essentially what happened there. And the immune system is what causes the rash, not, not the virus. So switch, switch your thinking about that. Your immune system is fighting off the, the 
sort of the heightened level of the virus. And so that's what creates the, the blemishes on the skin. So that's, that's there. So immune system rev up, you know, vitamin C, water, 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 make sure that they're ready for, to wear the patch and then try it again. Okay. I Got have working one other magic quick, on that one. <laughs> that sounds good. I have one um, quick little fact to share that I had my glutathione levels checked a month ago and it was the range on my test results are 176 to 323 and mine was 198. I thought it would be higher. So I'm just curious what you think of my my own personal level of 198. I've been wearing it almost every single day. And I guess maybe I is that okay to keep wearing it every day? I have never had a reaction, a detox to it. That's a great question. Um, well, how often do you get those tests? I I, I've question. never had one before. I decided after we had our glutathione yeah, discussion by yeah. you last month. I thought, okay, <laughs> I, I want to know what my level is. So I asked my primary and she said, sure. So I went and it took about a week results. Yeah. So I'm curious to know if you keep your same regimen and then test it again, where would it be? You know, uh, there could be a scenario by which that's your level. And, you know, that's where you stick. And now that you've balanced out and that you've been wearing it on a consistent basis, that's where, where you may be. Um, I'm wondering if you take a few days off and then wear it again, where would it would it spike or would it go back to the 190s? So uh, I'm, I'm really intrigued. Um, I have yet to do my own glutathione testing. I know I probably should, but I'm interested to see what what the future results will look like. So. Now, now that you've presented this opportunity, you have to be the guinea pig to come back and tell us about okay. how your glutathione levels fluctuate. <laughs> so maybe in another three months, I'll go get it checked. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And, um, you know, it's, it, I'm glad that you mentioned that you hadn't had any sort of healing crisis examples. Um, have you noticed anything else? Have you been sick lately? Have you been? No, I don't get uh, yeah. sick. Yeah. Is, is your Never. immune system otherwise healthy? Yes. Do you have allergies? I, when I walk, my nose runs a lot outside. Okay. I have outdoor allergies and I still have the okay. autoimmune challenge in my mouth, but it's, you know, under control. Sure. Anything with pets or animals? No. Okay. Just thinking of some other things that we could, you know, sort of use as mark measuring sticks for the next time, you know, we don't have to rely completely on the lab tests. We can look at some of the responses, you know, so here in Texas, you know, the pollen and the ragweed and all of those things is like horrible. So people come here from other locations and they just start, you know, going haywire, runny nose, runny eyes, you know, congestion and all of that good stuff. So that's one way that we kind of track things down this way is, you know, whether or not the patches are helping with that. Um, and then, you know, other, other little things, you know, some people have, you know, different allergies on the skin and things like that. So anyway, um, just be thinking about some other ways that you could be documenting how things are going, but that's awesome. I'm glad that you presented that because I think that's really cool and something that's important to sort of validate how things are working and also to validate just our strategies in the way that we're approaching this thing. So. You know, just we were just talking to Stephanie and she was saying, well, maybe she overdid it. And, you know, then you come and you guys are basically wearing it the same way. And you say, hey, I want, I want mine to be a little bit higher. So let's just see what we can come up with. OK, thank you. Cool. Absolutely. All right. Do we have any more questions? Sheila, are you there? Did you get my email today? Can you hear me? I can, sir. How are you? Yes, I'm hey. here. I'm driving. Okay, no uh, problem. But oh. No, I didn't. I didn't check my email. I will though. Okay, please Pay do. Have please me do. On also, Doctor Jeff. Yes, I, I can. You too. Go right ahead. Okay, what I was going to ask you is. Uh, 
on the ice wave patch. Uh, I've been wearing that for about three days now on the bottom of my feet. Now I've been okay. putting that patch up close uh, right before all the joints in the bottom of my foot. And uh, okay. is that, uh, I'm going for like a fibromyalgia condition. I have pains all over my body. You know, my feet okay. hurt. Uh, my, I got an old injury in my knee. Uh, mm -hmm. I tried to put the ice wave patch on one side of my knee and on the other side, the, I did the clock thing. And I mm -hmm. didn't, uh, it's just not a pain that I, I, I pushed the joint forward from behind and my knee was already against something. So I tore the ligaments when I was about 19. I'm 80 now. So, <laughs> uh, and it's given me problems all my life. So, but I didn't get anything there. So I went to, to the bottom of my feet. Now, is that something I should do? Or what about the one in between the nipples and the chest? Yep. So, you know, the bottom of the feet is actually a pretty good strategy. Um, but it sounds like your knee is giving you the most trouble. So I would apply the Ice Wave and X39 directly to the knee. That's giving you the most trouble. And now you put the uh, tan patch as on the left side of the knee in preference uh, in, in, you know, uh, to go through side to side or front to back. On side path. to side, side to side, basically. So just on either side of the kneecap, you have those soft areas, right? So if you're kind of right. you're thinking about putting your hand on top of your knee and you put your fingers down over your kneecap on either side there, there should be some soft spots. I'm sure you've had some fluid drain from there or you've had a, a cortisone shot or something like that. I you know, know, those soft areas. I know. have never had anything but ace bandages. And if I put uh, an ace bandage uh, on there, my knee swells up. It's like the weather. My knee yeah, swells up yeah. and I can't hardly walk on it. Put the ace gotcha. bandage on and I can go out and run and jump and do anything I want. But uh, got, got it. the ace bandage, the thing it hurts and it'll pop out on me every once in a while. Okay. So but I've you never wanna... had a doctor do anything with it. You're a tough cookie, man. I appreciate that. Um, so... <laughs> Left left tan patch is going to go over the left soft spot just below yeah. the kneecap. And then the white patch is going to go just on the right side of the kneecap where the soft spot is. Yeah. And then this is going to be the base of your triangle. So your triangle is going to point down like this. Your, your, uh, basically, your kneecap should be situated just right about here. And so right at the bottom, basically where your shin bone starts, you should have an X39 right there. So yeah. that should just form that sort of triangle like that. I'm not an acupuncturist by any stretch of the imagination, but there's something really powerful about putting the patches in a triangular orientation. So try it that way. If you and don't get would, relief. This would be the kind of the most powerful for that knee injury. That's correct. But as far as like my fiber, my algae, where I got aches in my back and you know, in the bottom of my feet, and uh, they just come and go. One day they're there, and two or three months later, after I've lived with it, all of a sudden it's gone, just like that. Okay. So we, we got to be careful because fibromyalgia is considered to be a medical condition. So we don't want to insinuate that these patches are going to treat that. However, I, when I we have a, full body full body aches and pains and things like that, I do think that wearing the exterior, I'm sorry, the, the ice wave on the bottom of your feet is a really great strategy. And if you want to rev it up a little bit, you can wear two sets of ice wave, one on the bottom or the lower extremities, and then maybe here on lung one or here on the inside of your wrist. That's what so I'm you wear two about sets. The wrist. Yep. That would be the suggestion for me is that you just wear for one for the upper body and one for the lower body. It's getting pretty expensive, you know. I, just, I know it, I man. just started I it. this. Uh, I think I've done it three weeks, and I do have a taste in my mouth. Is that normal? For for wearing ice wave? 
for yeah, I've only done the 39s and I just started the ice waves here uh, four days ago. Okay. But I had to no, take it's, it's really, really not normal, but you're the second person today that's said they've had that. So let's, let's, I'm going to do a little bit of digging and figure out what may be yeah. the result of that. Um, the only thing that I've done different, I, I don't do any medication other than uh, doctor give me a uh, anti-acid for my stomach. Cause I'm, okay. I got a acute gastritis and okay. uh, that was just a couple weeks ago. And uh, so, so, that's so usually, thing. usually I, that that could cause a little bit of that sort of funny taste in your mouth if you've got a little bit of reflux or something like that, yeah. ulcer, or gastritis, you know, just indigestion. The only thing but, I do is B12, vitamin D, and uh, I don't know, uh, magnesium, and that, that's the only thing I do. That's it. <laughs> and okay. I, I, right. I I thought, well, I'll uh, try, you know, this ice patch, or, you know, the the uh, life wave system here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a six month trial. And well, so there you I go. That's I'm all gonna, we ask you. I may may have to be a a regular here on your show here, and and keep in touch with you. Now is. If uh, I got some pimples right across the back of my hairline, wearing this on my backbone, is that kind of a, I don't know whether it's bug bites this summer, because <laughs> you, you get bug bites right at your hairline uh, here in Michigan. And I was just wondering about, uh, but it, when I put it uh, below my belly button, I've been doing on the backbone and then on my belly button, kind of alternating. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. I put it down below my belly button, every once in a while, I get kind of like an itch or something. Is that mm -hmm. kind of normal? That is pretty normal. I'd say one in 10,000 or so have a, a little bit of an adverse reaction to the glue on the back of the patches. So if that's the case, then you have to make sure that you really wipe down the area, with, you know, wash it good, scrub it with soap, make sure you get all of the adhesive off your skin, because if it stays, it will be a bit of an irritant. Oh, yeah. And then if it's stubborn, I, I have to do this sometime as well. Just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just take a, you know, a, um, a Q-tip or a cotton swab or something like that and just really you know, massage all of that glue off your skin. And yeah. usually that does the trick. One other question. What, uh, any issue with forgetting to take them off? <laughs> I've, I've been forgetting to take them off. I just, I, they're out of sight, out of mind. And, oh man, I wake up, I, dang, I forgot to take that off before I went to bed. Uh, so no, no issue. You just need to give your body ample time to rest. So it, oh, it's kind of like it's working like, out all I the think, time. You got to take a break. Agreed. Or think about it like the sun versus the night, right? Yeah. So if yeah. you got sun too long, and I know up there in Michigan, you you know during the summertime, it may that the sun may stay out to almost ten, you know, and it yeah. kind of throws throws you off a little bit. So you it's bet. the same sort of concept. You know, you don't want to be in long strands of darkness and you don't want to have the light on too long either. So you want to have a happy balance. So that's why we yeah. recommend 12 hours on, 12 hours off. If you go 14, 15 hours or you go longer than that, let's say you wear 24 hours or 23 hours, like you fall asleep and forget to take it off. Don't fret. You just wait the same amount of time until you put another one on. So if you, some people wear it 24 hours and then skip a day and then 24 hours and then skip a day that's also fair game as well okay and i just uh, got a friend that's going through a whole lot of cancer i don't know whether he's going to make it or not but is there anything there that can maybe manage his pain is there a... so what what we typically do with with patients who have cancer related pains is usually ice wave excuse me, an eon, uh, because most of those individuals have already started the chemotherapy process. And in those instances, certain certain patches of ours are contraindicated. They, 
they're not good to where the X39 right. or 49 when you're going through chemo. He's went through all of that and he's not doing all that good. And they're going to try some experimental stuff on him. And mm -hmm. I just wondering if some of this stuff might ease his pain or something. It should, man. It really should. And so you just have to find the right orientation for the pain he's experiencing. Yeah. Okay. I might so I, get back with you later on that. You know, okay. Please but, do. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get him on something and just, you know, see what, what it can help maybe. So yeah, absolutely. Can't, can't do nothing but try. Okay. Je Dr. Jeff, good talking to you. We'll catch you on All right, sir, night. you too. You, right you next Tuesday. <laughs> yep, I'll, I'll be here. Uh, how long, how late does your program go? Usually we cut it about an hour in. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. I'll make sure that okay. I get you. All right, cool. You have a good night. All right, you too, sir. All right, Alexandra, did you have something else? Uh, thank you. I I I, I browsed about uh, Merid uh, liver meridian, and I found that there are many points, and I, I, yeah. I it's difficult for me to decide which point to choose for this uh, gallstones problem. So the the most prominent one, in my opinion, is on the top of the foot, right between the first and the second bone. It's called liver three. Liver three. This one. Okay. Thank you. And another question, this is completely a different question. In general, problems with um, uh, different types of uh, arthritis, osteoarthritis, these kinds of things, people complain. How can we help them? Uh, well, so it just depends upon which joint it is. So, you know, if it's wrist or hand stuff, I would encourage you to go here on large intestine four. So you can use glutathione and eon if it is uh, associated with the immune system. If it's bone on bone pain, then the X39 is probably a better choice. X39 for when there is a link to immune system, yeah? No, no. no. Bones. Immune system is glutathione and ER. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's ah. bone, on, if it's bone on bone pain, then you think X thirty nine. Ah, uh, okay. And place them for wrist. Place them here. Uh, you know, if it's if it's in the hand, you can put it yeah. here. A large intestine four, you can put it here. Pericardium six. You can put it here on triple warmer, number five. I mean, you know, just want to put it on where the pain is. But those are just some of the common acupuncture locations in those areas. By the way, with X, um, X39, there is just one patch. Yes. So, but we, at the time we used just one patch. So not on any hand with the yeah. pain is in both hands. You can put one on either hand if it's that kind, if it's, you know, if it's concerning and you really want to have an immediate impact, you can wear more than one. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It just, you. Uh, you need to wear it within the window. So as long as you wear it from 12 hours, from eight to eight, you can put on the whole box if you want to, you know, it just, I think at some point it becomes a waste of money, but definitely mm -hmm. two or three patches if they want to accelerate the process, definitely that's doable. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, especially. Yes, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. In the beginning for people to recognize that it really works. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys. Well, we're at 8.30. Do we have any more questions? If so, raise your... Okay, Stephanie, you got another one? Yes, um, the uh, 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 two quick questions. The person that spoke about the uh, gluta testing, um, uh -huh. is there a special place that you have to go or can you go to your primary care physician to have those, that test done? And 
Um, the same with testing to see like um, uh, what your uh, uh, allergies are, allergic to, is that a separate test or can that all be combined together? Because that's the first mm -hmm. time I heard about the gluta testing. Yeah, glutathione is a naturally producing molecule in your body. So you can just have a blood test and you can find out what your glutathione levels are. Okay, so, so we'll to answer your question, that. yeah, you can just ask your primary care, say, hey, I think my glutathione is low, et cetera, et cetera, and ask her to add that to your blood work. So okay, that's great. very, very easy. Allergy testing is usually a referral to an allergist. Mm -hmm. And that allergist will then conduct the testing to find out what things you're allergic to. Okay, great. But some, some primary care offices offer allergy testing, but there's also allergy specialists. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do. Okay, I'll check on that. And the second question is, you spoke about the water, you know, the soul water and, uh, you know, drinking enough water. Um, mm -hmm. Are there certain waters I know you have the distilled, you have the spring, and you got the, um, um, what's the other water? Uh, the still spring and, and alkaline. So mm -hmm. what would you come closer to? What, what would be more beneficial to you um, to drink if you're not on any type of, um, 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 what do you call it? A detoxing or um, special, um, um, what does it call it? Cleansing, cleansing, yeah. Because you said a good water, I heard you said earlier, you know, drink a good water. What is a good water? I, know, I don't know whether you want to draw some brand names there or what, or alkaline. Mm -hmm. I no, know. <laughs> ain't nobody paying me to put out no brand uh, names. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all jokes, all jokes aside, the, yeah. the water is about what it does for your body. So you okay. want a water that's high in oxygen level. You want something to have a good pH. It doesn't need to be alkaline per se, but it doesn't also doesn't need to be acidic. So, I mean, I, I was just suggesting that you get something from the health food store or you get something like a filtration system on your faucet at the house or you, a good spring water is great because spring water is supposed to have your minerals in it, right? That's uh, the idea of a spring being that it runs off the, the mountains and the rocks and collects a certain mineral deposit that is good for your system because we need minerals. Some people believe I'll supplement my own minerals so they drink purified water or distilled water because they are, that's going, those, waters actually pull minerals out and then you urinate them out of your system, but they're gonna be replenished. So there's a looping system involved with, with distilled water, which is a whole nother conversation. Right. Alkaline waters are great, but you know, you can overdo it as well, you know, so you just need to find something that makes you feel good. And if you're urinating, like if it feels like you drink it and you don't actually absorb it, you go right to the restroom then that likely means that you don't have enough minerals in the water and it's not absorbing. So that's why I was saying you could add Himalayan sea salt or you could add Celtic sea salt because they have 84 of your natural minerals that you need to have in your body on a consistent basis. And I was doing the uh, Himalayan, the soul water um, for a moment. Okay. And I, I know this is a repeat, um, but I had to stop taking that because of the same situation, um, the uh, tingling um, in, the, in the tongue. So I had to stop that okay. and go with fresh fruit in my water. Okay. Well, you can do that also. You know, you can always drink coconut water. You can always drink watermelon water. The, that's H3O, which is a slightly you know, different process, but, you know, hydrogen has been shown to be very valuable. So an additional hydrogen like you get when you consume those juices is really beneficial for you as well. So okay. try that, try some coconut water, try some watermelon juice, see if that's better than drinking the water. But, you know, obviously water is water. So, I mean, um, let me back up. 
Water is not water. Not all water is created equal. There are levels. But right. the, the biggest thing is that you need to be consuming whatever water you choose. You need to be consuming it enough so that you're making sure that you get enough hydration in your system. Okay? That's yeah. the take-home message. All right. No osmosis. Uh, you mean like reverse osmosis water? Yeah. That's that's good too. All of these waters have benefit, right? But the problem is, is that at the end of the day, a lot of the water companies are looking to make a buck instead of making the best product. So you okay. kind of got to do a little bit of research and find out what's best for you. You might have to do a little bit of trial and error. So mm -hmm. um, actually, if you go on my YouTube channel and you search in my station, you'll see a water episode. And we went through several different types of water what they mean, what brand names are kind of sketchy, which ones you should kind of consider and which ones maybe don't have the best track record when you're doing a little bit of digging. Okay, I'll check that out. Thank you so much. All right, ma'am, you're welcome. All right, guys. Well, I am going to shut things down for today. This has been a lovely discussion as per usual. I absolutely love answering questions. I love the conversation. I love the discussion. That's why we are now uh, two and a half years in the game with Ask Dr. Jeff. So excited about all the things to come. Again, I will be traveling to the Philippines for my third time. Uh, we will be leaving the 22nd of July. Won't be back until August. So you know what that means. You'll be getting a broadcast from the Philippines. It will be bright and early in the morning when I'm talking to you guys in the evening. So get ready for that. We'll be here next Tuesday at the same time on the 18th of July. And then the subsequent week will actually be recorded from the Philippines. And so we'll have a pretty cool and obviously informative discussion. I'm not sure exactly where we'll be on that Tuesday, but we're going to share some enlightening information and tell you about all the cool stuff that's happening with my team in the Philippines. We call ourselves Patches and Prayers. So we'll be patching and we'll be praying, hoping that all the stuff that we do provides uh, benefit and improvement in the way that um, people in the Filipino community see their health and understand how revolutionary this technology can be for them, right? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Please go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, guys, because we were supposed to be over a thousand subscribers by now. That was my goal to help monetize my channel and get things rolling. But guess what? YouTube actually changed the parameters for subscribers that you need in order to make the upgrade. All right. So I've already surpassed the subscriber level. Now I need watch time. So you guys need to watch 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 so please go back study the old videos answer your own questions sometimes by going back and looking at the titles of the various different videos in the archive again there's 100 and i believe this is 121 of the episodes that you can review and you can make sure that everything is in working order and uh, please leave your comments leave your questions right there on the thread that helps to generate some commentary and good stuff like that and also, um, you know, that can generate some questions that you can put in my email. But guess what? Now, Ask Dr. Jeff MD is ready to go. And in just a couple of weeks, we'll have everything ready for our community platform where you'll be able to ask questions inside the group. Uh, and I'll answer them. And also other people can give their insight and direction as well, because we learn as a group. That's one powerful thing about Ask Dr. Jeff is we all share the same passion to learn and grow and develop our understanding of how the body works, even me, because I'm always on a hunt for the next cool thing that's going to help revolutionize the way that we approach our health and wellness, right? And last but not least, all of this stuff is easy now, guys. You don't have to send me an email and ask me about a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You can just go and ask Dr. Jeff MD and book it. You don't have to ask me about a subscription service and how it all works. It is right on Ask Dr. Jeff MD right now that you can go and sign up to be a level one, two, or three member subscriber of Ask Dr. Jeff, which all the cool bells and whistles and perks. You get all of the old videos, all of our old newsletters, all kind of cool stuff, and you get to join 
our interactive discussions moving forward where we really dive deep. We dive into the deep end of the swimming pool to find out everything we know about these patches and how they work and all of that good stuff, all right? So uh, if you're interested in uh, photobiomodulation 2.0, not 1.0 like we discussed here on Ask Dr. Jeffrey every Tuesday, you're ready to get a little bit deeper, I encourage you to go ahead and become a member of Ask Dr. Jeff and to subscribe to our sessions. It's going to be fun, interactive, and just a, a family-oriented community. We really appreciate our, each other and our insight, and we'd love to have you join us, all right? so. I won't beat the dead horse anymore. Guys, I love it. Thank you so much for joining and looking forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Same bad time, same bad channel. See you later.